Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Tech PBA. Thanks for joining me. So, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download Microsoft um, 365 applications um, offline so that you can deploy them on um, other computers without um, bothering um, yourself with um, downloading the applications every single um, instance on each and every one of those uh, computers. So first of all, um, let's um, look at this um, page. So when you log into the your account in on Microsoft 365, so when you um, log in, you see you get uh, something like this, a page like this one. So um, where whereby you can view the applications, the Microsoft uh, 365 applications on the left. And then also you can click on the app launcher to see or to have a look at all the applications that are that are uh, to your disposal. And then um, when you want to install these applications on your PC, um, you can go here, install apps, and then um, click on either one of these options. So you can select the premium, in this case, the premium Microsoft 365 application so when i click on it right now it will start um, downloading um, to install on this particular pc but what if um, you are deploying the applications on um, um, several computers you cannot um, be going through this process um, one by one by downloading it um, on each and every pc um, and provided if you have um, the bandwidth, the speed to do it, yes, you can do it on each and every PC. But what if the PCs are like 200, um, 300 um, PCs? So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download these applications offline so that um, you can easily copy them over and then deploy them on several computers without, uh, without have going through the hassle of downloading the applications um, on every single PC, which is um, a bit hectic and, and time consuming. So we'll delve straight into it. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is to go onto our C drive. So I'll quickly open um, my, uh, the Windows Explorer or the File Explorer and then go to the C drive. And then in this um, directory or in this uh, on the C drive, I'm going to create a folder, a new folder, and then I will name it ODT, which um, essentially stands for Office um, Deployment Tool. Okay, so with the ODT folder created on the C drive, um, the next thing we are going to do is to go to the Microsoft Download Center and download the Office Deployment Tool. So the link, I will provide this link, this particular link in the description. So I'll go ahead and then refresh this space to, 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 to download the Office Deployment Tool. So once the Office Deployment Tool um, downloads, um, what you, the next thing you want to do is to go into your Downloads folder and then double click on the application to install let's accept the office um, the uac and then we'll click accept continue and then from here we are going to browse for the odt folder that um, we created so i'll go onto the c drive and then i'll select the odt folder and then click ok and then it says files extracted successfully. So once the extraction is done, um, we can go ahead and take a look at the content of the ODT, the, the content of the files that, are, that were extracted into the ODT folder. So these are the files that were extracted into that folder. It's done. So first of all, we are going to download the files. But we have to run a certain command, so we'll get into it. Okay, so moving forward, um, we will copy this um, set of um, code and open um, Microsoft um, 
notepad you open notepad and then copy and paste this set of code into the notepad i'll make this um, code available in the description and then after pasting the code into the into into the notepad we'll go ahead and then save the file so we'll click on save us and then we'll save it into the odt folder that um, we created earlier so i'll open the odt and then the file name is going to be exactly as i have typed over here which is um, install office bus rates 64.xml so we'll go ahead and then save it um, save that file in the odt folder and then we'll continue okay so there's something i need to draw your attention to so in case you are installing the office applications or the microsoft 365 applications for a different language you would have to um, check this uh, line over here you see this particular um, language um, i'm using is the the english us so if you are installing for a different language you have to check here and then change it appropriately so you can check your language if you go to the microsoft um, website that we downloaded the office deployment toolkit you can check it in the url so in this case because i'm downloaded it i downloaded it and i'm doing it for the you the english us language um, it shows over here so you can check yours if you are downloading for spanish greek or whichever language you can find it here and then change it appropriately in the xml file that we just um, created so i'll go ahead and save it and then close it so after saving the xml file um, in the odt folder the next thing we're going to do is to open the run dialog box you can go um, to the search box and then type run or you can as well um, open it by pressing on the windows key and then r and then in the run, run dialog box we are going to cop, uh, type exactly the command um, we, we see over here after typing the command correctly you go ahead and then click on the OK button for the command to be executed. So as it's been executed, the Office applications are being um, downloaded onto this uh, particular uh, system. So we, we will wait for it to um, finish with the download and then we'll continue. So yes, as you can see, um, since we executed that uh, particular command, if I can show it again. So since we executed this particular um, command, um, and it brought up this um, command prompt, a new folder has been added into the ODT folder, which is called the Office um, folder. Then when you open it, you can see that there is the data folder in the which is um, where the Office applications or the Microsoft 365 applications are being um, downloaded at the moment. So we will give it some time. You'll have to give it some time to um, finish downloading um, the Office or the Microsoft 365 applications. So as um, this uh, window, which is the command prompt, is doing its thing with the cursor blinking up and down, um, for, it, for, for you to know that indeed it is downloading the Microsoft 365 applications, you can occasionally right click on the Office um, folder inside the ODT folder and then select properties to see um, the size. Um, and you will notice that the size will be increasing as time goes on. So you can be doing this check to, to, to know that indeed it, it is actually downloading the files.
Okay, so guys, so after a while, the Office or the Microsoft 365 applications um, eventually finished downloading. So if I right click on the folder and then I go properties, the, the size is 3.2 gigs. And if we should go inside data, these are the files. These are the Office, um, the Office or the Microsoft 365 application file so we'll go ahead and then um, run another uh, command at the run dialog box um, very shortly um, the next thing we'll do is to open the run dialog box again by going to the search box and then type in run and then we'll click on the run um, icon to open the run dialog box but this time we're going to run a different command and I'll quickly paste the command in there. So this time it's um, to configure. The first command we ran was to download. It's the same set of command, but the first one over here, the parameter was to download. But here, in this case, it's to configure, which is um, the option to run uh, or to install the Office applications or the Microsoft 365 applications that just um, downloaded onto this computer. So after running, after typing um, this um, command um, correctly, uh, which I will show on the screen, um, you can go ahead and then click on the OK button. And then you should have this uh, pop-up on your screen so what you're going to do is to click on the yes which is um, giving you a prompt the user account control prompting you that um, the Microsoft 365 and then office applications need your um, permission to install on this system on this computer so you click on the yes for it to start the installation Okay, so apparently um, the the uh, three sixty five um, installation found um, um, a, an office um, version already installed on this system, so it's prompting me to uninstall uninstall that version before I can install this. Um, part. I'll go ahead and uninstall the one on this system very quickly, and then we'll continue. So I'll go up with .cpl to bring up the add and remove programs. And then I'll go um, Microsoft Office Pro Plus and then I'll uninstall it very quickly. Uninstall. So let's, let's wait for it, that to be done and then we'll continue. Okay, guys, so the Office application that originally was on this system has uh, successfully been uninstalled. So I'll go ahead and then run the command again to install the, by clicking or by opening the run dialog box and then pressing the, the down arrow button to show the command I um, initially ran. So, um... After checking that the command is OK, I will click on the OK. Um, and then I will click on Yes. And then this time, the Office uh, Microsoft 365 applications should kickstart the installation. Um, then, yes, we'll, yes. So now we, we can see that it's um, installing the apps. It has Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, Microsoft Teams, um, Projects, and then Access, and then Skype. So yes, guys, we'll um, wait for it to finish, and then we'll continue. Okay, guys, so installation um, of the applications uh, finished successfully. And it's um, doing some background um, wrap-ups. And then 
we will test it out. Okay, so yes, finally, finally, the installation of the Microsoft of app, Microsoft 365 and Office applications um, finished successfully. So we can click on the close button to close out of that. And then we can close out of here. And then um, the next thing we are going to do is to um, open any of the Office applications. So we'll go to start and then let's look for Excel. I like to test with Excel. Okay guys, so after the installation, you can open any of the office applications. In this case, I opened Excel. I went to file account and then I signed in with the username and password, um, the license attached to my account. And then yes, everything is activated now. So it should set over the um, Microsoft 365 apps for business. So yes, that's it. Um, so just copy the ODT folder and then onto the C drive of the other computers and then run the, the second command we run. And then that will install the Office and then the Microsoft 365 applications on the other systems as well. So yes, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and please if you enjoyed watching this video please click on the like button and please and also click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and then also turn on notifications so that when new videos um, are released or when I put or upload new videos you'll be the first to watch them or see them. So yes guys please do well to like this video subscribe turn on notification and then i will see you in another video thank you for watching and stay blessed bye